A long, long time ago, during the British Malaya time, Chinatown was a place where early settlers came to pursue the wealth of the prospering tin and rubber industry. Most of the settlers were Hakka and Cantonese. But one of them was special. He was Yap Ah Loy. We will discuss about him later. This led to a strong immigration of Chinese community into the city, working as coolies in the mine. They were governed by Chinese Kapitan, also known as Headman. The most well-known was... Yes, Yap Ah Loy. In 1870, a rift formed within the Chinese community over the control of the tin and rubber industry. The heads of the two largest secret societies got involved in the Civil War. The war led to the destruction of many buildings and the abandonment of mines. The British interfered as it was harming and damaging the economy. After the war, the coolies found the mines flooded and unworkable. Yap Aloy convinced them to remain in Kuala Lumpur and refocus on agriculture. Yay! And then he set up a tapioca mill. This is how the name Chi Jiong Kai came along, which means starch factory street in Cantonese. Unfortunately, two years after the mill started up, the starch price dropped and the mill closed down permanently. Dun 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 dun! But that wasn't the end of Chinatown! Fires frequently broke up because the buildings were made out of wood and atta. In 1887, Kuala Lumpur became the capital of Selangor. A year after the harbour was opened, that benefited Chinatown as it was located in the trading zone. Chinatown was home to traders farmers, miners, skilled men, and many, many more. The golden age began during the 1930s when changes in the social economy landscape brought a new development into the city. Coffee shops, Chinese opera theatres, nightclubs, breweries, casinos, opium traders, and many, many more. The heritage continued. The oldest Chinese opera in Kuala Lumpur was formed in 1920 to raise money for charity. Wong Fong Wing Taylor has been run by three generations now, ha- has dressed some of the most prestigious people in the country. Fong Wong Biscuits is a trademark for wedding cakes. It's still providing a exquisite variety of traditional Chinese pastries to loyal and new customers. Jalan Zone HS Lee, fondly known as High Street because of its naturally high land location. Being one of the earliest streets which shops were built in brick and tiles, it has a strong Chinese and Caucasian influence. The Silk Temple was next to the central police station as the force was made up of recruits from India. Back to the modern day, Patalang Street received a 11.3 million facelift. The Green Dragon is a massive roof cover over the street. Another nickname for the street? A massive transportation upgrade. LRT, hop on hop off bus station, and of course, MRT. At night, the street transforms into a lively, vibrant night market filled with hundreds of stalls offering wide varieties. 
Chinatown is undoubtedly one of the most popular spots in Malaysia for locals, tourists, young and old. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you. Bye.